Hello everyone, how are you doing this week? Hopefully you're all well and coping okay with all the challenges that you've had to face this week. Some old, perhaps some new. It might have been homeschooling that's challenged this week. Or perhaps the crazy wind we had on Monday and Tuesday. Or maybe you've got to now the point that you're rereading the library books you haven't been able to return. One thing that we've all been doing in the Collinson household every week is banging our pans and spoons together and clapping to remember the NHS workers, the caring professionals and all the key workers on a Thursday evening. Cover your ears if you don't like loud noises. Jacob wants to give us an example. Mm. Banging the pans, clapping our hands, tooting our car horns. All of these things show our appreciation for all that they are doing. By doing this, we're saying thank you, but just in a different way. There are lots of ways that we can say thank you. Giving someone a hug, a high five, a handshake. But sadly, we cannot do all of those things at the moment, as we need to keep distance from people outside our own household. So we're having to find different ways of saying thank you. It could be a rainbow in the window. But we've been doing a British Sign Language course during lockdown and so have learnt the sign for thank you, which is other new ways we've found is by using a little thumbs up sign when we're using Zoom or if it's a video call to our family or friends, we've just been using our hands and giving the physical thumbs up like Steve likes doing. But I've also heard about some of you making paper arms and sending them in the post so your grandparents or other relatives can still get a hug from you. Awesome, well done. It's not the same, no way, but at least shows that you care and that you're grateful. Last time I spoke to you, I was having an up and down week with my feelings all over the place. And when we're having a bad day, or perhaps when we're feeling snowed under with schoolwork or something else, we may forget to say thank you. Be that to a parent trying to help you with your schoolwork, or a brother or sister giving you a book, or sharing a game with you. And when we have our heads down, we sometimes miss all the good things and kind things that are happening around us. And when we don't thank people, it can actually affect their day, even when you don't mean to be unkind. Think about it. Can you remember a time when you did a good deed for somebody, but they didn't thank you? Mm. I'm sure you felt really sad and perhaps even upset, didn't you? And it wasn't that the other person wanted you to be upset. They just didn't think about saying thank you. So as a result, we as a family are as doing as many thank yous as we can. From the postman as he delivers the letters or leaves the parcels on our doorstep, through the lovely shop workers trying to fill the shelves as quickly as they can whilst keeping a distance from us, all the way through to the bin men who take our smelly rubbish away. They all need to feel as appreciated as the doctors and nurses do. And we don't stop there. We wave and say hello to everyone who walks, cycles or runs up and down our lane. Because we have to remember that showing kindness or sharing a smile doesn't cost a thing. But it could change a person's day. It says in the Bible that we should always give thanks in all circumstances. And so my challenge to you this week is to try and remember to say thank you to everyone who's helped you with a task, who's been kind to you, or simply to someone who's made you smile. We're going to end with a prayer and we're going to use the old Amen version this time. So let us pray. Dear Lord, sometimes we forget to be thankful to those who help us. Remind us to open our eyes to see all the kindness that we are given in our lives. Thank you for always loving me, even when I'm not so loving. Amen. See you all soon. Until then, take care and bye-bye for now.